Hello Internet, Big Dave here, and I would like to take a moment to welcome all of you to the Weekend Roundup for the week ending on Saturday, September 10th. Yes, indeed, it has been another week in cheapness, and we will discuss it here, and we will also look ahead to the week that is to come. So let's start out by talking about what you're seeing on your screen right now. This is a little Counter-Strike Source gun game. Thanks to Mr. Light Jimmy for hooking me up with this, for introducing me to it through videos on his channel and on TGN. So if you're not familiar with gun game, basically you start with a low, weak weapon, and you work your way up. Every time you get a kill or two with that weapon, you get a new weapon, so forth and so on, until you cycle through all the available weapons, and somebody wins the game, whoever does that first. I had actually recorded a game where I did really, really well, but upon taking a second look at it, I realized that the level was covered in porno sprays and that I could not really use that footage unless I wanted to spend a lot of time going through in each frame and blurring those out. So yeah, what you're going to see is essentially me doing pretty horrible, um, but I hadn't really played Counter-Strike at all in maybe a year or more. So I was coming back into the mechanics of Counter-Strike as well as the mechanics of this new game mode, Gun Game. What you will see from me is basic noob play, lots of spraying and praying, and uh, yeah, that's how I makes my money. That's my bread and butter, the spray and pray. So uh, yeah, you'll notice when I get the sniper rifles, I usually just try to hip shoot until I can actually get lucky enough to, uh, to get a couple of kills with them and move on to the next weapon. Anyway, enjoy that footage. Uh, I just couldn't come up with anything in our sort of s uh, stable of games that uh, really appealed to me to play for, uh, you know, 30 minutes or so to get the footage down. So I went ahead and branched out into some gun game. So now that you know what you're watching, let's talk about this past week in cheapness. Well, there wasn't really a this past week in cheapness, was there? Um, I used some of my time to create two videos for TGN for Space Marine. I did the uh, campaign, started the single player campaign over there, as well as taking a look at the multiplayer options. I'm also going to do a video on the multiplayer gameplay here in the next day or two, so keep, it, uh, keep your eyes out for that. Here on the home channel, we took a look at my feelings and my thoughts on the Black Ops, the Call of Duty Black Ops free-to-play weekend from last weekend. We went through some of the gameplay that I managed to record, gave you my thoughts and feelings on that. It was my first Call of Duty game since Call of Duty 1 or 2, so, you know, it was a bit of a new thing for me, but in the end, I walked away feeling like, um, well, I'm kind of glad I didn't pay full price for this game, I'm kind of glad I didn't buy this game, but it was a blast for the six or seven hours that I actually played it during the free-to-play weekend. So a pretty slow week here on Big Dave is Cheap. No new first impression videos of our $5 or less games. Just all in all, kind of milling along, hitting the stuff that I'm interested in at the moment. Uh, Space Marine is going to take up a lot of my time just because I'm really enthusiastic about that game right now, and uh, I am one of the only people on TGN that's uh, even doing anything with it. So I have a lot of folks demanding content. I hope you guys enjoy those videos too and I favorite them here on the home channel. If not, just let me know and I'll try to squeak out a little more exclusive content on the home channel. But uh, that's going to come when it can come. It's very difficult to say uh, what and when and how and how often I can do things. I am still aiming for two videos a week on the channel, minimum. But uh, apart from that, yeah, Space Marine, TGN, that stuff's going to take, I don't want to say priority, but it's going to take some of my time away. This channel is still the priority, and that's why I cut together that Black Ops video to make sure that something went up on the channel this week. I didn't want to half-ass a gameplay for you guys. I just wanted to, to give you something fun and exclusive. Speaking of exclusive, oh my lord, don't let me uh, talk about this past week and forget about the Darksiders giveaway. Yes, Mr. Shirty Ear won Darksiders. It was good to uh, deliver that to him. Notice that he played it for several hours and seemed to enjoy himself, or at least he got a lot of achievements. So I'm assuming that he enjoyed himself while he played that game. I did notice, if you'll recall in the video, that I have a Half-Life 2 code. Half-Life 2, bit of an older game. A lot of you will have it, but those who don't, I will be giving it away. I'm not going to do some big grand contest like I did with Darksiders. What I am going to do, however, is just give you one hint, one tip, if you're interested in winning Half-Life 2 from me. It would be to your advantage to follow me on Twitter. Twitter.com slash BigDaveIsCheap. Follow me on Twitter, and you may just figure out the details from that Twitter feed on how exactly you can win Half-Life 2. 
So let's talk very briefly about some of the deals that are going on around the internet this weekend. I noticed that Arma, the Arma series, Armed Assault, that is on sale on Gamer's Gate, the whole series 1 and 2, as well as all the expansions. They are on sale for a nice hefty discount. I'm going to be purchasing Arma 2. I think it is only 5 bucks. Arma, if you don't know, is it builds itself as a, a the ultimate military simulator. I've heard that it's fairly uh, intensive, processor intensive, graphics card intensive, and I've also heard that it is a very challenging game. It's not a run and gun type of game. It is a very tactics based, very heavily strategized military game. I am interested in that. I am interested in seeing how that plays and what that's like. So look for the Arma series on sale on Gamers Gate. And for Steam users, we have a couple of big sales this weekend. The Need for Speed series, or at least the latest few games in the Need for Speed series, heavily discounted on Gamersgate, as well as, excuse me, not Gamersgate, Gamersgate on the brain here, heavily discounted on Steam. We also have Civilization V, heavily discounted on Steam, like 75% or some, something crazy like that. A uh, really, really good discount on that, so pick that up if you're a fan of the Civilization series. Other than that, I haven't really seen anything that poked its head out and said, hey, hello. So uh, take a look around the internet, some of the sites that I tend to frequent, directtodrive.com, gog.com. I usually take a peek at Impulse, which is a Steam alternative uh, owned by GameStop. I also tend to look at Desara, or Desura, not really sure how you pronounce it, it's D-E-S-U-R-A.com, another uh, Steam-esque application. I hit all those pages along with Gamersgate and Steam to look for the best deals in gaming. So uh, check those out if you're looking for a deal this weekend. Otherwise, let's talk about the week ahead of us. Honestly, I don't have anything set in stone as far as plans for this coming week. I am feeling like I kind of want to play a puzzle game, though. So I may try out Puzzle Pirates, which just went free to play on Steam. But more likely, I'll try one of the couple of puzzle games that have kind of just been sitting in my Steam list. Uh, perhaps Rush from Two Tribes, or I may give Critical Mass a try. One of those two games, something puzzly, something challenging, something to strain my brain as I run around and uh, blow away orcs in Space Marine in the rest of my spare time. So look for that stuff on the channel. Try to definitely get up a couple of videos this week on the channel. Most likely see those posted between Tuesday and Thursday. So keep your eyes here on Big Dave is Cheap for that. Otherwise, keep your eyes on TGN for my Space Marine content as well as anything else I choose to toss over there. You can always look me up on my Rift blog, Tales of Talara, if you are so inclined, if you like the MMO RPG Rift. Otherwise, guys, I think that's going to do it for this week. Um, let's see. Check the mental checklist here. Check, check, check. Okay. Talked about that. Yep, yep. Okay. All right. Well, that's going to do it, guys. Until next time, take it easy.